morning everyone good morning from this very wet and gray looking birmingham mm -hmm. very cold as well no snow no snow in the last few days like many houses around the uk we have some visitors that join us mm -hmm. for december don't mm -hmm. we do you want to show our visitors they've got their jumpers on today as well because they're cold elves uh, the elves craze came around a few years ago and the elves are part of our house as well the elves always do something in the middle of the night that's mischievous so that when we get up in the morning there's some kind of chaos what kind of things have the elves done girls over the years that um, they've been with us last year i remember that one of the elves went in the car and they turned the car around on the car <laughs> one of the car, yeah they drove the car didn't they so when we got up in the morning the car was the wrong way around yes uh, what would, what did they do the other night when you took when you when you got your phones what did you find uh, on your phones uh, you might show people they, they took our phones changed our home screens and lock screens and they took selfies of what they did overnight <laughs> including pictures of Rosie dribbling in her sleep, yeah, <laughs> and Katie wide open mouthed all over her bed. I think my favourite was the year when they drew moustaches on your faces. That was really <laughs> funny. Katie, Rosie didn't like that, but I Katie laughed her head off. That was very I funny. It was very funny. Elves are not uh, just associated with mischief. Um, the fictional characters that are often dis uh, associated with being Father Christmas's helpers. And so at Christmas time, all the help that he needs to do his work is done using elves. Well, we all need helpers, don't we? And we would just want to say today how grateful we are to the half dozen or so gentlemen that helped us yesterday unload the lorry and the pallets of food, the seven, eight pallets of food from Booker's. So thank you to Malcolm, to Ian, to Stuart, to Darren, to Will, um, who helped do that mammoth task. So this week we're all ready to go with our food and toys, yeah. but we still need a few more helpers. And I also want, we've been doing a little bit, because, because um, we've not got the same availability of resources this year, I've already been starting some work with the toy parcels as well so i'm grateful to corin and to bev and claire in oldbury and to sue who's at Stu um, in erdington for coming in and um, a few days and helping me prepare that but we still are um, a bit nervous about making sure that we've got all the resources available we trust well we trusted didn't we that um, bookers would deliver the food and thankfully they did we trust that people will perhaps donate the toys to us that we need or, uh, or donate some um, funding towards that. We trust that we'll get the volunteers um, and we're still hoping and trusting for all of that. We still could do with some more toys, we still could do with some more volunteers. If you feel that you can give that time and, and you feel that it's safe enough to do so, then um, please, by all means, come and help us. <laughs> trust is something that we're going to be looking at today in our morning meeting over this Advent season. You'll remember from last week that our theme is all is still. And we're looking at that word still, not just meaning quiet as the stable was that night in Bethlehem, but still meaning constant. And so last week, um, Claire talked about God's servant still rejoicing as she looked at Mary's Magnificat today. I'm looking at the thought, his people still trust, as we look at trusting shepherds and a trusting husband. So if you want to join us um, at half past 10 on our live stream, live stream goes open from 10.15, but meeting will start at 10.30. We'd love to see you. Trust is something that the scripture talks about, isn't it? Yeah. And have you got a scripture reading for us about trust today, Rosie? Yeah, my elf helped me find this one today. <laughs> oh, good. We're so pleased for you. Well, this is Proverbs th chapter 3, verse 5, the message version. Trust God, trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't f try to figure out everything on your own. Trust God 
from the bottom of your heart. That's something that we each do every day. Isn't it's not it? always easy, though, is it? No, it's not. And every day, it's a, it's a, it's a sort of lesson and a work of, of progress, isn't it? To, to trust God, and not to lean on ourselves and try and follow our, ourselves and our own ideas and thoughts. It's not always easy. And the, these dark days do come to us. We've been living in some very difficult days in the last ten months, haven't we? And we're still going to live through them. Um, we also want to just bring your attention and your prayers requested for Sheila this week, Sheila Hinsley. Um, Sheila fell out of the car yesterday and managed to uh, hurt her side and she's managed to fracture her, her arm, unfortunately. So uh, please pray for Graham and Sheila and Karen and Malcolm and the rest of the family at this time. And let's not forget to remember everyone else who is experiencing difficult days at uh, this time and ask that a trusting heart will be theirs just now. As you've seen on dispatches, all those people that we want to be continuing to pray for, you'll also see all the things that are happening over the next few weeks over this time of Advent. Next um, Saturday evening is our Around the Manger and where it'll just be a mixture of carols and some contributions from people from the core and I am still I'm happy to receive any contributions of readings, of songs, of playing, of anything, of thoughts that you want to, you feel that you would like to contribute. I'm happy to receive them um, this week at some point. If you want to do something, I've not prepared it, then just let me know that you are preparing it so I know to put it in as well. But we look forward to seeing you all on Zoom next some Saturday evening for that. Well, our welcome has come to an end for this morning, and as normal, Katie's going to say our little prayer, aren't you, kids? Go on then. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me the best gift of all, your Son, Jesus Christ. May this precious gift always be a reminder to me that you are on time, God, and that you are worth waiting for and trusting. May my heart be filled with excitement and joy as I rest in the truth that you know what is best for me and also when it is best for me. Lord, thank you for loving me and giving me good gifts. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 And so as you continue waiting in this season of Advent, do look after yourselves this week and we'll look for, forward to catching up with you again next week. But in the meantime, from the Allman household plus guests, bye -bye. have a good week and bye-bye.